This is the solution to written homework 42. Okay, so for part A, the sketch of region R will look like this. So in the first place, in the first place, this uh, function by itself, y is 18 over x squared, looks like this. So this is a horizontal asymptote, and this is a vertical asymptote. OK, and then <coughs> um, we want to be to the left of negative 3. OK, well, that means that we want the left side of the axis. So, so, so something like this. So this is x is negative 3. And then So the region R that we're interested in is this region. Okay. So everything to the left of negative uh, 3. So this red is the left side of y is 18 over x squared. And of course, the x-axis is y is 0. OK, so for part b, uh, the two-step truncation limit procedure, OK. So truncation limit. So what we'll do is <coughs> here we'll hold this at negative 3. And we'll choose some fence post to the left of negative 3. Uh, any letter will do, I'll use, uh, how about P, just so we're using different letters every once in a while. And what we'll do is we'll consider this region. We'll consider the region that's just in here. from p to negative 3, uh, notice that this particular region is bounded. Well, let's figure out its area. Its area is integral from p to negative 3 of 18 over x squared dx. OK. Well, that would be integral. I'll factor out the 18 so that it looks like 18 integral p to negative 3. Factor out the 18, and then I'll write that as x to negative 2 dx. We can use the fundamental theorem. That would be 18 times x to negative 1, divide by negative 1, from p to negative 3. <coughs> uh, then I'll spend this negative 1 to reverse the order of evaluation, and obtain that it is 18 times 1 over x, and then evaluated from negative 3 to p. <coughs> Okay, so then continuing that up here, that would be 18, 
and then multiplied by 1 over p minus 1 over negative 3. Uh, so that would be 18 times 1 over p plus 1 over 3. Okay, so this uh, expression right here is the area of this region. So that makes sense because as P moves around, the area changes. <coughs> so to find the limit, or to find the area of R, we're going to let P go to infinity. Uh, that is to say, negative infinity, right, all the way to the left. So the limit as p goes to negative infinity of 18 times 1 over p plus 1 over 3. Well, 18 is constant, 1 third is constant. 1 over p is the only thing that's moving. So that would be 18. And then 1 over p as p goes to negative infinity is 0 plus a third. So that's 18 times a third. So the answer is 6. And therefore, the area of R is 6.